you know uh, rna primer is uh, required uh, for the synthesis of uh, complementary strand during uh, replication so the requirement of rna rna primer to initiate all new dna synthesis creates a dilemma for the replication of the ends of linear chromosomes and uh, this problem is called as the end replication problem and this only uh, occurs in the in case of linear molecules or linear chromosomes this difficulty is not observed uh, during the replication or duplication of the leading strand template as you know uh, uh, along the leading strand uh, when the replication takes place there are two strands one is lagging strand one is leading strand so for leading strand only one rna primer is required and one rna primer attaches to that strand and it initiates the synthesis of uh, the complementary strand and this complementary strand synthesis completes up to the extreme terminus of the chromosome so only one uh, rna primer is required which completes the synthesis along the leading strand in contrast the requirement for multiple primers to complete lagging strand synthesis means that a complete copy of its template cannot be made you know along the uh, lagging strand the uh, synthesis takes place in the form of fragments and these fragments are called okazaki fragments and for each okazaki fragment there is separate or new rna primer so a number of rna primers are required so that's why that, due to that's requirement the synthesis of uh, uh, new uh, strand along the lagging strand that cannot extend up to the extreme of uh, chromosome uh, even if the end of the last rna primer for okazaki fragment synthesis annihilates to the final base of the lagging strand template for example these are two strands one is leading one is lagging so we suppose that uh, uh, the for the synthesis of last okazaki fragment the rna primer attaches to the extreme end of this strand even then it is not possible because once this rna molecule is removed there will remain a short region this region will remain which is which is unreplicated single stranded at the end of chromosome here in this picture you can see this is a linear chromosome or molecule of dna uh, these are the replication fox or replication bubbles you can say uh, and uh, at the end when the replication uh, completes uh, here you can see this strand this blue one is complete while the yellow one uh, is incomplete at the terminus or at the telomere similarly on the other molecule in this again this green uh, one which is leading strand this is complete and the other one uh, which is yellow this is incomplete so uh, in case of uh, linear chromosomes always at the completion of replication there will remain some unreplicated ends telomerase this is another uh, important enzyme uh, uh, used during replication is a remarkable enzyme that includes multiple protein subunits and an rna component so this is a multimeric uh, uh, enzyme it contains many protein subunits and specially rna component as well like all other dna polymerases telomerase acts to extend the three prime end of its dna substrate like all uh, the uh, polymerases do but unlike most dna polymerases telomerase doesn't need an exogenous dna template to direct the addition of new dntps this is a different feature from other polymerases instead the rna component of the telomerase serves as a template 
for adding the telomeric sequence to the three prime terminus at the end of the chromosome because you know this telomerase has its own RNA component so that RNA components serve as the template telomerase specifically elongates the three prime OH of the telomeric single stranded DNA sequences using its own RNA as a template so what telomerases do it uh, it elongates the three prime OH of the single stranded or lagging strand using its own RNA as a template so uh, uh, only this strand is extended note new synthesis takes place only this strand is extended by telomerase as a result the new synthesized DNA is single stranded so uh, as uh, I say only this strand is extended so this is uh, new synthesis so this uh, telomerase results in the synthesis of new single stranded DNA so it is only uh, extending the extreme end of the DNA strand so when uh, telomerase acts on the three prime end of the telomere it extends only one of the two strands of the chromosome then how the five prime end extends the other which which was already short this was actually completed and this strand the five prime end this was uh, uh, already short so how this will uh, be completed this is accomplished by the lagging strand DNA replication machinery by providing an extended three prime end telomerase provides additional template for the lagging strand replication machinery so uh, this uh, additional uh, uh, this uh, sequence it provides the additional strand for lagging uh, replication machinery to use this uh, additional strand to complete the synthesis of uh, this strand by synthesizing and extending RNA primers using the telomerase extended 3 prime as a template the cell can effectively increase the length of the 5 prime end of the chromosome as well so here in this figure you can see this situation is at the end of uh, uh, replication so this strand is complete but this one is incomplete so this is uh, this green one is uh, telomerase it has its own uh, RNA component which you can see this yellow sequence this is uh, RNA component and uh, by attaching to this end this extreme end it starts synthesis of or it starts extension of this end so this orange uh, strand this is a newly extended strand so after this extension this extension actually will provide a base for this RNA primer to attach and then this Okazaki fragment will complete the replication so in this way both the ends 5 prime end and 3 prime end will be equal 